space when it's a good game or a bad game, you know what I mean? And I think that whatever teams threw at him, he found a way, you know, it's just credit to him and his team, you know, he found a way to continue, uh, you know, to keep making different reads, keep, keep us open and keeping himself involved and still making big shots. So I was very proud of his progression. You know, he, he also played through injury as well. You know, that first Milwaukee series, he could have very sit on my back hurts and, you know, didn't play, but he fought through that. And, you know, his leadership right there, man. And so uh, I think it's incredible that, um, you know, that your star player, you know, can see every single defense and still find a way to be effective, you know, as a way around. Hey, Miles. Um, they're obviously a very experienced team, been through these games, and you guys haven't. Does that explain maybe what happened in three of these games that you kind of had your hands on them and it didn't work out? Is that just an experience thing, or can you put your finger on anything else? Um, you know, I mean, that's what the playoffs is about, right? You know, it's just a possession game. Um, you know, I think we did sure show our lack of maturity at times, um, but you know, it's I don't have just a straight answer for it. You know, what I mean, it's still very fresh for all of us. You know, very frustrating. You know, to have all these games, you know, kind of in your grasp and be able to, you know, kind of um, just let it slip through. You know, at the end, so you know, it's tough. So very, very fresh emotion. So I can't really give you just a straight answer. You know, Miles. Obviously, this wasn't the outcome you wanted, but um, to you going into year 10 here, what does it mean to you to be the constant through all the change, through all the trade rumors, and then to end up you know, this current final with a chance to obviously build on that? Um, I can go on and on with that question, <laughs> um, but just to keep it concise, um, you know, it, I just kind of remember coming in in Chef's shoes, kind of, you know, just coming in and just not knowing what to expect and just knowing that I was laid all out there and just whatever happens, happens. And um, it's a rarity that, you know, one player, you know, is with the organization as long as I've been. So I definitely don't take it for granted. You know, I have a lot of love for the city. I try to express it, you know, as much as I can. Um, to be frank, I have had a lot of bullshit since I've been here. Honestly, it's been, I mean, it's battling sometimes with non-believers, um, having to deal with all the trade rumors, you know, having, you know, another big man sign right in front of my eyes. Like, I, you can name it, I've been through a lot of stuff here. But it never deterred my professionalism and my path because I was brought here for a reason. And no matter what was thrown in front of me, you know, I'm gonna continue to be the constant professional and the man that I am. You know, it's, it's very easy to be like, you know, this happened, so I'm gonna give up, or they gave up on me, so I'm gonna give up on them. It's not my MO, you know, this is it's a job at the end of the day. And um, it's a doggy dog world too. So, you know, I just kind of show up and I do my job and, you know, I just get better and better and better and better every year. And, you know, I'm not definitely, you know, I don't give myself a lot of credit, a lot of credit, but I'm definitely proud of myself for that, just the progression, you know, just, I've got my body where it needs to be, you know, I've got my diet where it needs to be, I've got my circle where it needs to be, just in my personal life, you know, and um, I just rededicated myself to my craft and, you know, showed over the past couple of seasons, and uh, it's only onwards and upwards from there. Miles, what's the biggest thing a, a young team can take away from a, a series like this and a, and a playoff run like this? and? take that momentum into uh, next season? Um, it's not going to get any easier. You know, uh, we introduced a style of play this year that um, people haven't seen in a, in a long time. And, you know, a lot of people wanted to try to, to mimic. But, you know, the way this front office put this team together and orchestrated everything that we have here was obviously masterful. And, um, you know, now we have to see how we get better. You know, we have one of the best offenses in history. You know, we had to go do it again, you know. so. Um, Things very fresh, like I said, emotion wise, so I don't want to get into the delve into everything there, but um, you know, guys like him are gonna have a big summer. You know, I mean he has to continue to build off of this and uh, continue to carve his niche out next year. You got guys like Jarris Walker, you know, who was able to kind of sit back and watch the Jalen Smith, or Isaiah Jackson, those guys that stayed ready, you know. Yeah, obviously Andrew Nimhart had an incredible, you know, postseason as well. So all your young guys just have to like stay ready and uh, have an incredible summer, you know, going into next year, you know, as well as the best. And in general, rookies or players picked in the year where you weren't expected to contribute all the time right away. Was there a moment that you can recall during the season where you're like, Yeah, I can do this or like, yeah, I can easily help this team in this way or that way? Uh, I'm not sure if there's a moment, but um I just say when I get called off the bench, uh, star player in the NBA, um, just building that confidence on that defensive end just made me realize that I can really guard and I can really uh, play in this league. So uh, it's not a specific moment, but a lot of moments that we... I saw it early, man. I saw him pick up, you know, 
when we first <laughs> got here. Just watch the way he moved, the way he was able to navigate screens, knock down a shooter, man. Yeah, he was ready. He's very ready. Now that you guys obviously the big reason why you want to get into this playoffs was just to, to learn to see all the experiences basically that a lot of these guys have had. Just, what do you feel like are the most important things this group learned just over the last, you know, month and a half, two months in the playoffs, just you know, considering all the tough battles you were in? Um a multitude of things. <laughs> I think that the playoffs, everybody thinks it's so physically daunting. This is that. Yes, it is, but it's also mentally daunting. It's daunting on your spirit, like mentally, physically, and spiritually. It's uh, you have to be prepared for these moments. You know, you're you're the only show on TV. You know, um, everybody's constantly gonna have something to say about your performance. Um, one little mistake in the first quarter can cost you the game in the fourth. You know, it's a possession game. Um, <laughs> that next man up mentality, like I said, Isaiah Jackson hadn't really played much at all this season. It was thrown right to the fire and excelled, you know. Um, and then just how important a great coaching staff is, man. Like these guys worked tirelessly, tirelessly through this off season. You know, I know these guys didn't sleep just to give us the best looks and give us the best chances to win and operate. You know, I look, you know, you get someone like Jenny herself. She really committed herself to the defense this year. You bring in um, JB, Jano. Jim Boylan, he was able to help us a lot, you know, on the defensive end as well. You see where we started this year at defensively and how we ended it, and you know, it's just it's just a huge credit to them. And um, I really think that they uh, they were our X factor a lot this year. Everybody's gonna look at the players, but just the little ins and outs and trends of the games. But our coaches have dedicated themselves to you know to us this year in the show. All right, thank you. Happy holidays.